Hi, for today's database search, we are going to look at how to use the IUCN Red List database. This is the International Union of the Conservation of Nature uh, database on rare threatened species. I could look for a particular species right here, but that's, I can use Google for the same thing. The power of this database is the other search options over here where I can generate a list of things that are rare for a particular reason or rare in a particular locality. So click on that, taxonomy. The first search that I want to do is look for rare insects in North Africa. So I've clicked on animals, I've clicked down where I can click on arthropods, and that's what insects are. There I have insects. I need to add it to my search box over here. So I click this area, and now it's over there. Location. I want to have things that are rare in North Africa, so I click land regions. There's North Africa. I could click that and actually pick particular countries, but I just want all of North Africa, so I click there. Add that to the search list. It is now added. Now down to assessment, things that are rare at a particular level. So in my case, I want things that are known to be endangered or critically endangered, uh, excluding everything else. Um, so I have those criteria there. Add that to the greater list. It is now added. I can now run the search and look for animals that are, or insects that are critically endangered in North Africa. And lo and behold, I actually can find that there is one species that is known to be a critical, critically endangered uh, or endangered insect in North Africa. A very cool list to, to generate and very hard to do with any other database. But let's do another database search. So go back to start. Here we are. Um, we want to clear all criteria, get rid of our previous search, and now I want to look at uh, a list or generate a list of animals that are rare or threatened for a particular reason. So let's go to taxonomy. I'm going to click on all animals, add that to my list here. Um, location, land areas, add that to the search criteria over here. Uh, and now down to threats. Uh, I want to look at things that are threatened for geologic regions, earthquakes, volcanoes. Add that to my list. Again, assessment, I want things that are, are rare. So I might leave vulnerable this time, but get rid of extinct. Uh, add that to the list. Run the search. And now I have a list of 122 organisms that are known to be uh, land animals, that are rare or threatened for a particular reason, and that reason is for some geologic events such as volcanoes and earthquakes. And that's it. I thank you.